on the road in the world's first truly self-driving taxi. So what can these autonomous cars really do? Oh, that was yellow. And what can't they do yet? What we can say is our trip doesn't exactly go without complications. It's gone, with our bag. But let's start at the beginning. We're in Phoenix, Arizona, a city of millions. Here in the suburbs, you can see them everywhere. White cars with huge cameras on the roof and no drivers. Empty, ghostly cars. And they're the world's first commercial self-driving taxis. Anyone can order them via app, but hardly anyone knows that. I don't know how to order a car for that. So I would if I knew how to do it, but there's, I don't know how. No, I haven't, I didn't know you could ride them. I would like to, they look really cool. Yeah, I would like to try them, but I don't know if, are, are they available for people to try right now? Oh, they are. And we're about to try them out. We want to know, are these driverless taxis as good as real taxis? Maybe even better? The app is called Waymo One and is available in the App Store. Anyone can download it, but it only works if you're in Phoenix. According to Google's sister company Waymo, it sends over 300 taxis onto the streets every day in the east side of the city. The app recognizes the location and you just enter your destination. The price is as much as a normal taxi. Okay, okay you can see, see, it'll be here in eight minutes and where it's coming from. The taxi is on time to the minute, but then the disappointment. There's someone in it. Oops. Hi. I thought this was driverless. Yeah, uh, just today, uh, there's a driver. Earlier it was raining, so. So the road has to dry first. But that happens quickly in the desert state. Hi, this is Ikram from Waymo Rider Support. I'm calling to remind you that you must wear a seat belt while riding in Waymo. Mm-hmm. So it is on auto cruise. Uh, you should go ahead and start the ride on your end and the car will drive itself, but the driver is present just in case uh, we need them, his assistance um, due to inclement weather. Okay. Okay. I start the trip either with my mobile phone or on the screen. Let's go. In order not to interfere with the autonomous driving mode, safety drivers are not allowed to touch the accelerator or the steering wheel, but must be ready to intervene at any time. Hard to hold the hand the whole day is like this, huh? <laughs> yeah, you get used to it. OK, the car does drive on its own, but it doesn't feel quite as spectacular when there's someone behind the wheel. We want to order a new car. Maybe we'll get lucky this time. It is warm and dry again, so we give it another go. And indeed. Cool. Our next taxi arrives with no one inside. We can finally try it out. No driver, so it's worked out after all. We've booked a ride across the eastern suburbs of Phoenix. Our driver, radar and laser sensors, high resolution camera systems and five years of proven software. So it's a very exciting feeling because there's really no one sitting in the front and there's normal traffic out there. OK, let's go. Reaching for the steering wheel or braking in an emergency is not possible because there's a panel between the front seats. But there is a panic button just in case. If you press pull over on the screen, the taxi supposedly stops at the next opportunity. So we try that out. Looking for a good spot to pull over. It works. 
the taxi immediately turns into the next side street and stops. OK, pullover worked. And on we go. Now we leave the residential area. The car accelerates and heads for the main road. You can't regulate the speed. Oh no, that was yellow. The driving style is definitely racy. So much for obeying traffic rules 100%. I suppose yellow is still okay, but I wouldn't have expected this. To us, it seems like Waymo is keeping to the highest speed allowed. We accelerate to over 70 kilometers per hour. So in terms of speed, the autonomous taxis can easily keep pace with a real taxi. And otherwise? Play music on Waymo. Via your mobile phone, you can play your own music. As loud as you want, doesn't bother anyone. The autonomous taxis are kind of fun, but how suitable are they for everyday use? Where do they reach their limits? we meet someone who knows, YouTuber Joel Johnson. He's virtually a heavy user and travels driverless almost every day. He wants to show us where autonomous taxis reach their limits. Nevertheless, even after hundreds of rides, he still feels very safe. It can't get drunk. It can't uh, like be inebriated in, in any way. It won't like stop paying attention. Um, and it always follows all the traffic laws very carefully. It'll always go exactly the speed limit. But he says the autonomous taxis have another problem. If there's something they don't recognize, they quickly get confused. Like here, Joel's taxi suddenly stops in the middle of a construction site. Now it's blocking the whole lane. It may have seen the oncoming roadworks vehicle in the distance and thought it was a wrong way driver. Now it's not moving at all and obstructing the construction workers too. Yeah, hi, apologies sir, the, the assistance team is almost here. Oh, okay. So they'll, they'll fix it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, oh. sorry about that. You can't, they can't move it no, no way? They will in a second. Oh. Yeah, somebody's oh. gonna... But the moment the technician arrives, the taxi suddenly recovers and accelerates. Uh, <laughs> car took off again? <laughs> yeah, 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 yes. The car gets in a weird situation and you get to watch it process in real time, just like how it, how it decides to get out of something. It's just really fascinating for, for me. Fascinating, yes but not entirely without its dangers. So far, however, driverless Waymo cars have not caused any serious accidents with casualties. Joel directs our taxi to a supermarket car park. The laser and radar technology of the autonomous taxi is impressive. On the screen, you can see that the sensors even recognize the people inside the store. But suddenly, an emergency stop because of this little bird. The car obviously couldn't assess which way the bird was going to hop. You're not going to get to your destination really fast, but you'll get there safely. And I guess that's, that's more what they're focused on, which makes sense. But there's been a couple times where I needed to get somewhere really fast. And just like Waymo's not really good at that yet. <laughs> Each taxi passes on all its new experiences to the software, which is always learning as a result. However, the fact that a little more patience is needed with camera teams because they might want a few extra shots has apparently not yet been reported to the software by any taxi. While we're filming, our taxi decides that it's waited long enough and drives away, along with our luggage and the mounted cameras. It's gone!
It's gone. With our bag. On its own. Without a driver. What do we do now? We call customer service. They respond immediately and order the car back to the Waymo vehicle hall. An hour later, we can pick up our equipment there. We were lucky. Our conclusion? The autonomous taxis are a great experience. Zooming around the city without a driver is fascinating. But the technology is still a long way from actually competing with normal taxis. And as long as they can't drive on their own in the rain, we will definitely have to wait a little longer for the driverless Waymo taxis to arrive in Germany.